Shares of 3D printing and manufacturing parts maker Desktop Metal is up two days in a row after earnings, and it needs its stocks been bruised and battered the last year. Let's bring in the CEO and let's talk about what's been going on. Rick Fulop is rejoining us, CEO and co-founder at Desktop Metal. Great to have you back, Rick. Appreciate you joining us here. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Uh, it's a pleasure. Okay, so let's talk the last year. It's been a while since we spoke. How come the stock's been punished so much? I know we've been in a broad market downturn, but is there anything you feel that the business should be doing differently or that investors want to see from you? I mean, I think uh, I, I ask myself the same question. However, we had a fantastic quarter. Our company is the fastest growing company in our market. Uh, we had... Uh, you know, really record organic growth over 160% year over year, 580% if you count some of the acquisitions that we that we added. And, you know, we, we went from 16 and a half to 112 million, and now we're getting to 260. We're gonna more than double uh, this year and, and see growth across all of our sectors uh, in incredible demand for our products. So we're very, very happy with the results of this quarter. Rick, where is the most demand coming from right now? Who are your most reliable, highest paying customers? You know, we have a, a, a fortune, we have lots of Fortune 500 companies and SMEs that support our company, over 6,000 customers. We've got a, a very good uh, customer base in automotive with all the major vehicle OEMs as customers. Uh, in, in space, we have companies like SpaceX, it's a customer of the business, as well as many of the major uh, uh, companies in aerospace. Uh, we have a very strong business in, in metal parts for jewelry and also a healthcare business that's growing uh, much faster than we anticipated. And that's that's actually a, a fantastic segment of the, of the market as well. How does growth look right now uh, as uh, the market really goes through every single business, assesses its cost of capital? It seems like uh, it's impossible to deny that rates and tightening policy have something to do with a, a company that is centered around growth. Any idea kind of what type of uh, top line growth you need to post at this point? Uh, what's the standard we should expect from desktop metal? Well, we, we're growing triple digit. I think the only publicly yeah. traded company in our market that's growing triple digit. We're, this year we're going to grow 131% to 260 uh, million is, is, is what we're guided to. And, we are very excited with uh, that, uh, with the, what we've got in, in store for this year. Uh, we're extreme, extremely well capitalized, over uh, $270 million that we have in the bank. So we don't expect to need uh, additional capital, but hmm. but uh, companies is, is, is quite well capitalized. So uh, I hear about interest rates, but you know I, I kind of shrug my shoulders. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. Yeah. Uh, we're, your sales beat expectations uh, uh, in this uh, latest report. Uh, and as you point out, uh, triple digit growth is uh, hard to come by even in a market where there's a lot of businesses growing. Yeah. Uh, is there a uh, expectation uh, for that uh, cash to make its way to shareholders? That's not on necessarily the radar right now. Is it not buybacks, dividends? This is all about investment. That's right, we're investing in growth. Uh, I mean, I think we're a pure play for supply chain disruption. Part of the reason that we have such an adoption of, of this class of technology, we've got uh, solutions for people that have uh, that, that are facing this difficult uh, uh, market in, in terms of being able to source the right type of parts and and uh, get freedom from their supply chain. So, uh, being one of the leading candidates for for mass production of parts at scale. Uh, in a difficult supply chain environment, is the technology that we have gives you a lot of flexibility uh, to to really uh, change the way that you do business, and, and so that's been a key driver behind uh, the real secular and and uh, in uh, unprecedented growth that our company is, is going through. So we we feel really great, and you know we've reiterated our, our long term guidance to get to a billion dollars by 2025. Uh, we closed the year. In a, in, a, in a great way, had more revenue in, in Q4 than we did in the first three quarters combined. And we see that trend continuing now in, in 2022. Uh, Rick, is there uh, any desire to partner with businesses who uh, do similar things? Uh, is that something that you're open to? Absolutely, yeah. We've got a, a, a great customer base and, and we work together with them in, in a variety of ways. We're a very entrepreneurial company. Okay, takeover possible? Is that something you'd be interested? No. 
zero chance. Okay. Uh, we we love what we do and hope to be doing it for the next couple of decades and innovating and developing new products that are different from what other people uh, offer. Great stuff and looking forward to uh, continuing uh, to talk to you along the journey. Appreciate you coming back to us, Rick. Thank you. You got it. Thank you for the coverage and uh, good luck to everyone. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Rick Fulop is the CEO and co-founder of Desktop Metal, ticker DM. Good couple of days.